Um, so, this talk comes from a blog post that I wrote during about in Somnia at about 2 o'clock this morning. Um, and essentially, what I wanted to say was that when I get to conferences such as this, my imposter syndrome goes into overdrive because I feel like a country bumpkin doctor who suddenly comes to an advanced medical research center. And I'm surrounded by specialists in surgical techniques, developers of new drugs, and so on and so forth. And essentially what I am is I'm just the guy um, who applies ointment to patients embarrassing rashes. That's what I do for the surgeons and so on. So essentially what I do is, um, you know, researchers uh, who develop software, they come to me with their problems and I help solve them, no matter what they are. And so some examples of these tend to be things like, my code's too slow, like 10,000 times too slow, can you help? Or one that I've got down here is, um, our research is based on this thing that's a 4 77 kernel wrapped in MAC app, and wrapped in Perl, what we call from Python, is being developed for over 10 years in the computer it worked on to die. Can you help? <laughs> These are the kind of things I see all the time, that the research software engineering is <coughs> oh, an embarrassing rash that you only want your GP to know about. Okay. And the way that I sort of think about it um, increasingly is it's kind of like the accident and emergency of research software engineering. Never turn anybody away. You can come and see me at 4 o'clock in the morning when you're drunk and you've banged your hair, and I'll help solve your problem. And there's a, there's a tweet here about from Ian Hawke, who's quoting Greg Wilson, who says that the gulf between the computing scientific elite, of which I think many of you represent, and those that email spreadsheets to each other is growing and that's bad. And the role of those of us who work in the accident and emergency section, our role is to decrease that gap by raising everybody's game. The difficulty is demonstrating impact to funding bodies. It's extremely difficult. I've got no idea how to do it. I managed to get a research software engineering fellowship from the EPSRC, but when they asked me how I was going to demonstrate impact for this work, I had to say, I have no idea. So, please help. <laughs>